Hello and welcome to Exercise Your Thumbs and the new release ratings roundup for the 6th of February 2014. There are four uh, games that I'm going to be describing this week. Um, first which is Fable Anniversary which is an Xbox 360 exclusive. Uh, Fable is a very long standing uh, Xbox uh, series of games. Um, Fable Anniversary is an RPG, a role playing game. Uh, you will develop a character over a period of time. Um, quite long games generally and I believe these games are for the whole life of the character you design. Um, it has been rated 16 and uh, the main reason for that is violence. On the Peggy uh, website it says the contents of this game is suitable for persons aged 16 and over only. It contains realistic looking violence. So it is a realistic looking violence that is a reason for the rating. Um, the next game that we're going to talk about is The a Wolf Among Us. Now, a Wolf Among Us is available on um, Xbox, uh, PlayStation 3, PC and Mac. Um, it is an 18 rated game. Uh, this is the second episode. The first episode was um, 16. This, the second episode, is 18 rated. Uh, this is for reasons of violence and swearing. Um, again, the content of the game is suitable for persons 18 years and over only. It contains extreme violence, violence towards defenseless people and strong language. Uh, I've actually played one of the demos for The Wolf Among Us. It is a point and click adventure where you can control a character um, through environments by clicking on various, element, uh, various elements and doing um, sequence button presses to kind of win or lose particular things. Um, it's a very visually striking game but it is exceptionally violent um, and with a huge amount of swearing and, uh, and violence in it. So to be avoided by more sensitive games. Um, then we also have Double Dragon. And Double Dragon um, Neon is the new release. Uh, it's coming out for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and it is a fighting game. Um, very much like Mortal Kombat Tekken games of that way. So you'll have two players battling against each other. Um, it's been given a 12 rating and again the Peggy website says um, Contest game is suitable for persons aged 12 years and over only. It contains violence in a sporting context, sexual images and or sexual innuendo, mild bad language. Uh, this game also allows a player to interact with other players online. Uh, so the reasons for the 12 come from swearing and um, sexual content violence and online content. Um, so again, uh, the 12, 16 and 18 ratings are legally enforceable. Uh, ratings below that are not. Uh, the final game we're going to talk about today is a game called Outlast. Uh, Outlast has been out on PC for some time, but it has been put onto the PlayStation 4's um, network. Now, if you have a PlayStation Plus um, uh, subscription with them, you can get the game for free, so it's a free download. Um, I haven't played it yet, although I have got it sitting on my PlayStation 4 at the moment. It is an 18 rated game um, for reasons of swearing and violence, and the blurb again on Peggy says, Contents of this game is suitable for persons 18 uh, years and over only. It contains extreme violence, violence towards defenseless people, and strong language. Um, I have seen some playthroughs of it. Uh, it's a very frightening game. Uh, it's a game, a horror game, uh, and I have seen video footage of grown men screaming like little girls seeing a spider. Um, it is incredibly frightening and cannot be recommended by any means by anybody under the age of 18. Um, that is available just say on PlayStation 4 and has been out on PC for a period of time. Uh, those are the four games for this week. Uh, Fable Anniversary which is 16 rated, the um, Double Dragon and Neon which was a 12 rated game, Wolf Among Us, 18 rated, and Outlast, 18 rated. Um, I'm probably going to do a, a content review of Outlast as well, so I'll get some footage recorded from PlayStation 4 and get a video up about that too. Um, I hope this has been very useful. Uh, I'll be doing another one next week, and there are four or five games being released next week as well, one of which is far more suitable for young people. It's Lego Movie Video Games. Um, so we'll have a review next week for those. Thank you very much for listening. Um, have a good week. And as always, I will put links um, to the various games and websites and other resources, either in the comments of the YouTube video or on the blog itself. So you can go and have a look at these things in situ. Uh, I, hope I, found, I hope you found these reviews useful. Uh, and I will speak to you again next week with another roundup of games being released, this time on the 14th of February. Thank you very much for listening. Have a good week. Bye-bye.